This massager is no longer taking a charge. I can't turn it on. The touch screen here is not powered on in the least bit. So we're going to take it apart and see if we can fix it. I'll start by removing some screws underneath these one, two, and then three, four plastic covers. With a Phillips head screwdriver, let's remove some screws. The cover's off now, and you can see the contraption now that causes rotational motion to be converted to linear motion down here. From here, I remove this bolt with an Allen key, and then screws one, two, three, four. DC motor came out. I did not have to remove these three screws. Down here, we can see what appears to be a battery. Let's remove these clips. One's for the battery and one's to the motor. This is the circuit board behind the LCD and it looks pretty good. I don't see anything burned. There's no caps blown up so I think this board might be alright. This battery does not appear to simply pull out. Maybe we have to disconnect something down here. Okay, this little rubber handle piece kind of rolls off the handle. Let's try to get that off and see if there's anything interesting under there. Nothing too interesting. I don't see any screws. I imagine I can maybe pop out the battery from the bottom side. That's what the construction looks like maybe going on here. So I'll put this in a vise and hammer in this direction to maybe pop this all out in this direction. All right, well, I'm an idiot. I did get this cover off, but I also broke a few things. It looks like it was attached with screws. And to get access to those screws, you'd have to maybe peel around the edge of this little cover here. Apparently it's a cover. Maybe get in there with a screwdriver or a razor blade. Pop that off, and then I think you'd have access to these screws. Nothing looks obviously messed up with this circuit board. Again, nothing that appears to be burned. No blown capacitors. So let's remove these screws. And there's our board. Back side looks good as well and the back end of the battery. Let's push out our batter here. Maybe our battery is dead. The circuit boards all appear to be pretty good. You can't tell for certain unless you would go in and probe around and test things, but that's a lot of work. I might try to look up a similar battery pack or the same battery pack online. See if we can source one of these cheaply. I couldn't find this exact part number battery or anything that looked too similar, so I opened this up. And we, might, we should be able to source some of these batteries. So we're looking for 1500 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium ion batteries. I could not find a battery pack that was cheap and comparable. I could rebuild the battery pack with individual cells, but that's a bit of a pain and also not too cheap. So what I'm going to do instead is convert this battery powered massager into a wall outlet powered massager. So I have a power supply connected here, and then that runs to where the battery was originally connected. So this system now thinks I have a battery connected to it, when in fact I have a 12 volt wall wart. The power voltage output is selectable here. So I have 12 volts selected. It's expecting, according to this battery, 11.1 .1 volt. That's close enough. I imagine there's a power regulator in here anyway. So with that connected, you can see that if I flip this on, get ready for this, flip this on, this comes to life, and then I can select the speed. Oh, there's the motor running. So I'll turn this off. All right, so everything works. I have to now reassemble all of this back into the housing and we'll just have a wire sticking out the back of it that now we have to plug into the wall. I'm fine with this solution. This was rather cheap, I think 10 or so dollars. I'll post the link below. All right, so I don't know exactly how this is gonna work out, but the plan is to shove all the electronics down in here. Our cap will cover this as originally planned, and then I need my little power jack to pop out of the side here. I think I'll drill a hole and then I can attach my AC DC adapter here and then power this thing. Let's see how we can do this. You may or may not want to do this, but I'm going to use this little adapter here. This is going to fit inside this housing and secure 
itself to the housing maybe with this nut. So I don't have threads on this plastic piece here. I can maybe create those threads if I attach the nut like so and give it a few good turns, creating some threads in the plastic. And you can see I made some decent threads here that will allow for some good attachment to the housing. Okay, so I want my little ACDC jack to come out about here on the housing. So I'm going to start that with a small drill bit and work up to a larger drill bit to get that hole going. Now we got to shove this thing through from the inside. That's going to be a bit of a challenge. Also, by the way, I didn't show it, but I just cut these battery wires off. They used to attach right here. And then I use those leads to connect this little jack adapter from my power supply. It came with the kit to this guy. And then you want to get the negative and positive in the right orientation. So black is negative. That's marked up here. It's hard to see. Red is positive. DC voltage marked positive up here. So getting that little jack in here was a little bit easier than I thought. I just got to pull it through and this is almost too good to be true. And let's use our nut here and see if we can secure this. All right, and there we are. That doesn't look too bad. I'm gonna connect this thing up again and see if it still works before I go reassemble more parts. After breaking a thing or two and then fixing it, I think we're all connected and pretty much functional. If I flip this power switch on, we get some lights and then I can turn on the motor here. So I think now I'm going to apply some glue to this joint and then reassemble. And this is a functional test before we go all too far. We have our power converter plugged into the unit and then we can change the speed of our massage gun. Alright, this means we can continue ahead and attach the remaining of the housing. All right, and there we are. This is the wall warp power adapter, converts AC to DC, and on the back here we have a selector for your voltage. So I've selected 12 volt. You can just rotate it whichever direction you want. I've rotated it to 12 volt. Plug that guy in, converting AC to DC down at this end. Let's plug that into our newly fitted jack. And now we got power. I can turn that power on and off, and we can select our speed. A massage just like we did before with the battery and we're no longer relying on battery power this was a lot cheaper to fix and easier than creating my own custom battery pack I don't have to worry about charging up batteries anymore the con is I have to plug this into a wall but hey that's not too bad let's apply some glue here as the very final step and then we got a repaired massage gun. I hope this helps you with your project.